All right, good Sunday afternoon to everybody here. This is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. How's everybody doing? Football on today. It looks as though the San Diego Chargers are going to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals. Right now, there's uh, like a minute left. 27-10 Chargers. I pick the Bengals. So right now, out of the three games, I'm one and two in my predictions. So anyway, this video, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos as of late. Um, geez, uh, a lot of uh, talk about John Cena, uh, John Cena burial by the revolution, uh, watching Wrestling Taker UK defend John Cena from the rev revolution. Uh, you know, everybody hating on John Cena, saying he's always in the main event spotlight and whatnot. And, you know, there are reasons why he's there. Um, we've gone over this time and time and time again. Uh, but no one seems to, uh, you know, uh, be bothered by the fact that Randy Orton is the unified champion. Uh, he's been in the spotlight almost as much as Randy Orton has. I mean, as John Cena has, I should say. Um but anyway, uh, there's been uh, talk within the WWE. Uh, we've all heard this. You know, they, they want to do away the, with the heels and faces. That's never going to happen, for one thing. Um, because you always have to have the good side and the bad side. That's what creates the matches. What That's what creates the competition within the WWE. If everybody was like, you know, the same, it just, to me, it wouldn't make any sense. And I, I definitely don't ever see it happening. Um, they can try to do it, but it's not going to work out. So, but again, all right. This coming Royal Rumble, January 26, last week, Stephanie McMahon announced that John Cena will again go after Randy Orton for the unified WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. Now, it is my belief, and I said this in a previous video, that I don't see John Cena in this major main event picture or holding this belt throughout the year of 2014. Now, with that being said, you know, then one would have to say, well, John's going up against Orton at the Royal Rumble, then he really doesn't have a chance to win. I do not see John Cena winning this belt um, for reasons other than the fact that Batista and Lesnar are coming back, uh, they're going to present issues uh, for Randy Orton somewhere down the road, especially Dave Batista. There are rumors about Lesnar turning face. One would have to wait and see on that. Um, and I honestly don't see uh, Randy Orton holding the belt till WrestleMania. I do believe he's going to lose it at the chamber. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. But again, with that being said, would Cena losing to Randy Orton, this gets him out of the, the super main event picture. Now, there's talks of having John on the mid-card level and possibly going after the Intercontinental title. And uh, then other people are just, you know, coming across and saying, well, well now he's going after Intercontinental belt. They always got to keep him going after a title. Well, if you look at it this way, right now we have Big E Langston as the Intercontinental champion, which is great. Um, but it would be more prestigious for someone to want to go after the title if someone like John Cena or even CM Punk held this belt. And if that were to happen, this would make this Intercontinental title so much more, you know, important to the WWE. Right now, they have the one world title. They have the Intercontinental title. They're trying to build that up. The world tag team titles, they have built up. I mean, this is the biggest the tag team belts have been in so many years. They've done a great job of doing that. The only thing they have to, to clean up now is the U.S. title because with Dean Ambrose holding this belt, I think it's a farce. Uh, Dean Ambrose by, you know, don't get me wrong, I like him. Uh, I, I think he's a great member of the Shield. He very rarely defends the belt. And so, you know, there were talks with the WWE possibly uniting the U.S. and the Intercontinental title as well. That would leave them the three main belts for the men's side and the tag teams, or actually the Divas, uh, for the women, because they did away with the tag teams. So, uh, but anyway, 
uh, going back to John Cena, you know, people say he don't put anybody over. What did he do at SummerSlam? He put over Daniel Bryan. What did he do on numerous uh, nights on Monday Night Raw? He got Daniel Bryan into the fold of wrestling Randy Orton when Randy Orton became the unified champion. Uh, he's done it on numerous occasions. Again, you know, you don't have to like John Cena as a person. You don't have to like him as a wrestler. But you can't hate him for what he hasn't done. And what he hasn't done, I mean, please tell me what it is. He has put over other wrestlers. Look how many times he's lost in various matches, especially through uh, 2012, 2000, and, you know, 11 and 12. You know, look at the amount of times he lost to CM Punk. And that was done to make CM Punk a bigger bigger superstar within the WWE. And did it work? Hell yes, it did. CM Punk held the title for 437 days. And that was with the big help of John Cena. And I don't see how you can take that away from John Cena. Uh, he goes about his business every day. He does his job every day. And now he's being put down to the mid-card level to go after the Intercontinental title to try and make that belt more prestigious. This is what the WWE is trying to do. So whether or not John gets this belt or not, which I do think he will somewhere along the lines after Big E loses it, because John will never face Big E for the title. Um, because, you know, again, it's a face versus a face, regardless if the WWE says they're doing away with it or not. Uh, when a heel takes the belt from Big E Langston, maybe somewhere down the road, John Cena will contend for the IC belt. And this is one belt we've never seen him have. Um, it should be pretty pretty interesting. Um, uh, it would be somewhat uh, strange to see him go after that belt because he's held the WWE title and the World Heavyweight belt uh, throughout, you know, like the last six, seven years. So, well, yeah, I, I to me, I think it's a good thing for the WWE if they do do this. And maybe this would open the floodgates for some of the other stars, um, you know, to go after this belt, knowing that, well, hey, John Cena's got it. I want it too. So, you know, the world of professional wrestling is a funny thing. It's a funny, fine line. And um, we as fans have to understand it. You know, it it is world wrestling entertainment and the entertainment word is the biggest part of it all. It is entertainment, and this is what the McMahons are trying to come across to us WWE fans, us in the WWE universe. So you could hate John Cena, you can like John Cena, but at the end of the day, John Cena is going out there doing his job, and for those guys that just don't like John Cena, just say you don't like him because he's John Cena. You just don't like his gimmick. You just don't like his character. But you can't hate on John Cena for not helping out the younger stars because he's done that throughout his career. Whether you want to think so or not, um, it's in the books. Check it out. Look it up. I mean, John Cena has been the biggest thing to the WWE since the days when Triple H was popular. And really... Since Hulk Hogan, you can like it or not, there's been no other star that has brought this much attention to the WWE and their fans as John Cena. So make your revolutions, you know, make your burials, do what you will. It'll never change, in my mind, the opinion of John Cena because I think he's been a phenomenal wrestler from start to the, right now at the present day. And, uh, you know, nobody can change that for me. I mean, I, 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 I am a big fan of a lot of superstars in the WWE. Um, you know, people were talking about Cena not putting people over. Like I said, at SummerSlam, he put over Daniel Bryan. And it was the WWE's doing that Daniel Bryan 
is where he is today with the Wyatt family, not John Cena's fault. So this is my video for this Sunday on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions. Uh, if you like the video, like it. And if you like the channel, subscribe to it. Um, in any event, um, just another video, guys. And it's just another uh, video defending the likes of John Cena. Like him or hate him, he's one of the best of all time within world wrestling entertainment. Peace out. Enjoy your Sunday.